Good morning, all of you. Welcome to the virtual class of talent at Ingle for plus two English. Today, we are going to learn the second lesson from your course book. Any woman. The lesson we are going to study is that that is the title Any Woman. If you have a textbook, please open it also. Any Woman by Katherine Tainan. Katherine Tainan. An Irish poet. This is the second lesson. There are four lessons in this first unit. There are totally five units you have to study. In the first unit, there is about four lessons. They are the three L's of empowerment. A speech delivered by Christian Jagat. The second is our prescribed lesson Any Woman by Catherine T. Nan. The third lesson, Matchbox, by Asha Purna Devi. And the fourth, an anecdote, Horigad. These are the four lessons in the first unit. The first is the three L's of empowerment, a speech, any woman, a poem, matchbox, a story, and a horigalu, an anecdote. What is anecdote? That is personal story. That is real story. Something happened in one's life. The narration of something happened in your life, in his life. That is an act out. These are the four lessons. Among those four lessons, the poem is any woman. What is the speciality of these four life, four uh, lessons? They are all written by. They were all written by women. Women writers. Christian Lagart, Catherine Dinan, Asha Purna Devi, and Sudha Murthy. They are all feminists. They work for the empowerment of women in the world. Now we come to the lesson, any woman. About Catherine Tainan, she was born, she was born in Dublin. Catherine Tainan was an Irish writer known for her novels and poetry. She was born on 23rd January 1859 in Dublin, Ireland. 
after her marriage with uh, Henry Alfred Hinkson. She wrote under her name, she wrote under the name Catherine Tainan Hinkson. Here, a question. What is the concept of freedom? What is the concept? What do you think of freedom? Even though we have freedom in our country, even though the constitution of our country allows freedom. The women in the house are free. That is the first question. What is your concept of freedom then? When does a person enjoy real freedom? Freedom means freedom means freedom from the shackles of exclusion. Freedom means freedom from the shackles of many things. The question here is do men Enjoy real freedom. In the houses or in the family, certain women have to face many shackles, many taboos. So, Women, those who have no freedom, they cannot be called imbaved women. Who is an imbaved woman? An imbaved woman is the one who can find her own voice, speak up and be seen and heard. Women of such rights are very limited in Indian families. Women support a family, but they are really, many of them are not really supported by the family. The title of the poem, Any Woman, represents the women folk of the world, the women as a whole, women takes commonly. It means all women everywhere in general. The poem, any woman, any woman highlights the self-efficacy love of mothers in a family, the self-efficacy love, unveiling love, unrevealing love of mothers in the family. That is self-efficacy love of Mothers in a family. It tells about, the poem tells about the cares, the worries, the burdens that women bear in every family. Women, the term women 
is a synonym to motherhood. The poem Any Woman presents the all embracing power of a woman, the all embracing power of a woman to hold the family together. She is performing a pivotal role in the family. The woman, the speaker in the poem, a new woman, metaphorically narrates her importance in a her importance in the family. Now we can start the lesson, a new woman. What we study in, the, in this lesson? Through a figure of speech metaphor or metaphorically the poet narrates the importance of women, the pivotal role of women in every family. Now let's start the lesson any woman gathering. The first part in part means a stanza of four lines. The first part I am the pillars of the house, the keystone of the arch army. Take me away and roof and wall would fall to ruin me utterly. That is the importance of women. These are the sentiments of the woman. This is the case not of a woman, but all women in our world. The poem is begun in first person. First person is I. I am the who is the speaker? The first person is the speaker. It is a first person narration. The poem is a first person narration. I am the pillars of the house. Who is I? The woman. Who is the representative of all women? The woman, the speaker in this poem. The speaker in this poem, the, the woman, says that the woman claims, that is a claim, telling a right, some, uh, telling something true. I am the pillars of the house. What am I? What is the importance of me in this house? I am the pillars of the house. Pillars means supporters, supporters of a building, support of a construction, building construction, that is pillars. She calls herself as pillars. She says, I am equal to pillars. The narrator in the poem tells that, she is equal to pillars of a house. My importance in the house is the house of pillars. Same as the keystone, the foundation stone. Am I? I am. I am the foundation stone of this house. What is the house? The house means family. She says she is the pillars and the foundation stone of the family. What is the importance of women in a family? The woman claims that she is the pillars and the keystone of the family. That means she is the 
backbone of the family. She is the main supporter of the family. Without which no building can stand up. No building can be erected without the support of pillars. So she claims that she is the backbone of the family. She is identifying her identity. She is pointing out her identity. I am not less important in a family. I am all in all of the family. She claims that she is the pillars and keystone of the family. That means she is the backbone of the family. Then beware. Don't take me out. If you take me out, take me away. If the pillars are taken away, if the keystones are removed away, the building cannot stand up. What will happen? The roof and wall would collapse and ruin along with her, die along with her. Everyone destroy in the family without her. So her assistance is very important, important in the house. Without the help of a woman, no family can survive. What is the importance of woman? She is the backbone of the family. The woman in any woman here expresses her sentiments and feelings and says that she is the backbone of the family. Then she says, after introducing herself as the backbone of the family, she has many more claims like that. I am the fire upon the hearth. I am the fire upon the hearth. Hearth is something that uh, gives us heat. In European countries, cold countries, people use hearth to get uh, warmth. I am, she claims that she is the fire in the, fire upon the hearth. A hearth without fire is no use. A hearth to work, it is to be lit. It is to be lighted or it is to be lit to get the warmth. So, what is the importance in the hearth? Fire. She claims that she is equal to fire. She says she is equal to fire of the hearth. She is the hearth. She is the hearth. He, she is the fire of the hearth. I am the light of the good sun. I am equal to, the woman is equal to the sunlight. Hearth gives heat which helps people to sleep in cold nights. Sun rays or the heat of the sun makes the earth alive. Both are very important. She says she is equal to them. I am the heat that warms the earth. Who is warming the earth? Sun is doing that. It is the duty of the sun. The sunrise till sunset gives light and heat to the earth. This light and heat help the living things on the earth to survive. That is the importance of sunlight. Without sunlight, no living thing can survive. That is the importance of sunlight. She says she is the sunlight. 
She is the warmth of the earth. Which else they are colder than a stone. If there is no sunlight, the earth will become colder. No living thing can survive. If living things have to survive, there is a need of sunlight. If the members of the family can survive, there is the need of the help of mother. Woman is the synonym of mother. Woman is equal to mother. So, mother's importance in a house is like a fire and the hearth and the light of the good sun. First of all, she says she is the pillars of the house. That is her importance. Second is she warms the earth. Now we come to the third stanza. At me the children warm their hands. I am the light of love alive. Without me cold the hearthstone stands. Nor could the precious children thrive. The same thing is repeated in the third stanza. She says the children warm their hands. She is hearth. She is fire of the hearth. She is fire upon the hearth. What is the use of it? The use of that fire is her children can warm their hands. When the children's hands feel cold, they can warm it from the fire of the hearth. What is hearth? Hearth is mother. The fire of the hearth is mother. What is fire of the hearth? Fire of the hearth means the love of the mother. What is the cold hands of the children? Cold hands means worries of the children. The worries of the children can be removed by meeting mother and her fellows and her love and her warmth can make it warm, make it warm. So she is the light of love. Woman is the light. Life and love in a family. She is the three L's. She is the three L's. Light, love and life of the family. Without me, then she bows. Without me, cold the hearthstone stands. If there is no fire, the hearthstone stands cold. Nor could the precious children thrive. The precious children, her children are precious. She lives for her children. Her whole asset in her, in her life is children. Her children are very precious to her. She says, no children can thrive without the love of the mother. That is the importance of woman in a family. Now we come to the next stanza. I am the twist that holds together the children in the sacred ring, the note of love from whose co close tether no lost child goes a wandering. I am the twist. I am the strand. I am the twin. I am the thread. She claims that she is the thread. She is equal to thread that holds, that ties the like flowers in a garland. In a garland, 
there are so many flowers they are held together with a strand or twine she is like that the children in its sacred ring she holds her children under the control of her love mother has the divine power to control her children with her love so this is a knot of love that is a tie of love a tight bond of love no one can lose it no child can lose it so no child goes wandering from it the mother in the woman in any woman the woman in the poem any woman claims that she is the twist of the sacred ring of the family she holds her children with love so no child can deny her love and go away wandering that means she can make her children under strict control by bestowing her love i am the house from floor to roof i deck the walls the board i spread i spin the curtains pop and woof and shake the down to be their bed now she again says about her importance in the house finally she says she is everything of the house what more she is everything of the house that is seen in the line i am the house from floor to roof floor to roof means everywhere to everywhere that means she is everything of the house first of all she says she is she can be seen doing works in the floor that means works in the kitchen washing the clothes caring the children caring the old people in the family caring her husband in this way she goes up to the roof her works mounds up her works mound up and up that is she is from floor to roof i duck i decorate i duck i adorn i deck the walls i decorate the walls of the house she narrates the course in her family her hard work in the family she decorate the walls she sweep the house she sweep the floor the board i spread she spreads the mattress and so many other household activities i spin the curtains she says she is the weaver she is the spinner she weaves she spins the curtain of the family poor fund of poor and of lengthwise and crosswise the curtain is spun lengthwise and crosswise there is lengthwise threads and crosswise threads putting them in the arranged form 
that is called as spinning it is she who spins the curtain of the house in which way warp and woof these have symbolic meanings she spins the curtains curtain is symbolically consider curtain is symbolically consider life's curtain life is like a curtain it is if it is spun orderly and correctly we can make a fine cloth in this way how can we spin the curtain in correct way spin it in warp and woof to arrange things correctly in the house who is done it that is mother that is woman so she spins the curtains for warp and woof means she spins the life curtain in the correct way to make everyone every member in the family happy besides she says she shakes the down to be their bed she shakes down she like a bird she considers herself as a bird bird get the warmth from its uh, feathers feathers are helpful to birds to get the warmth without feathers it is difficult for them to thrive or live such is the importance of feathers to a bird but like a bird she is ready to down them shake and down them when when her child needed uh, warmth that means the mother is ready to the mother like a bird ready to shake down her feathers as cozy bed for her children the mother is ever ready like a bird to put her or shed her feathers as a comfortable bed for her children that means she is ready to it is a sacrifice she is ready to sacrifice her life for her children a mother can do this only a mother can only a mother could do this here she says she is her importance is that she can be seen everywhere in the family she decorates the walls and do all other things she spins the life curtain warp and woof then she is ready to sacrifice her life for her children like a mother bird shedding her feathers for the comfort of her children as a cozy bed for her children